Welcome to Building Fortunes Radio. Make sure you check us out at buildingfortunesradio.com. Along with our marketing partners, we're here to help our PM Marketing Network Lead customers build their businesses and make the world a better place. At Building Fortunes, we know how much your business means to you and the people important to you. So spread the word, tell a friend, join our newsletter, and go make a difference in your world. Now on to our show with your host, Peter Mingles. Hello, everyone. Peter Mingles here. You're listening to us on Building Fortunes Radio. That's www.buildingfortunesradio.com. For those people that might be slightly unfamiliar with my voice, my name again is Peter Mingles. We own this whole thing. We've been running this radio show for about seven years. We've done thousands and thousands and thousands of 30 or 60 minute radio show spots. And one of our favorites is with George Madu. George Madu is the owner of NetworkMarketingMagazine.com. So if you go to www.TheNetworkMarketingMagazine.com, you'll be able to see the cool things that George has done. And I met George first when I was doing a guest spot. Well, actually, George was doing a guest spot for Doris Wood, who runs or ran the MLMIA, the Multi-Level Marketing International Association. And I always found George a good guy. He always had a great reputation. He just never crossed paths. And then one day... Dara said to me, are you doing any radio shows with George? And I said, no. And she said, you should. So I said, you know, you're probably right. Anytime Doris Wood says something that I should do, I probably will. So we started to do this radio show towards the tail end, I think, of actually the beginning of 2019. And every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern when the stars line up and we're not traveling, we do this radio show. And George brings on a whole bunch of really great guests. It's a popular show. If you go to buildingfortunesradio.com forward slash TNMM, you'll be able to hear the previous radio shows that we've done. That's buildingfortunesradio.com forward slash TNMM, and that's uh, where you'll be able to pick up this one as well. And I just want to say thanks for George Madu being here. So, George, thanks for being here on Building Fortunes Radio. Well, thank you, Peter. I appreciate you and everything that you do. Today is uh, just another exciting day because I get an opportunity to have a chat with a good friend of mine that I've known for years. And, you know, our industry has um, leaders. And some of those leaders are great leaders. Some of them are not so great leaders. And my guest uh, today is one of the greats. And I always enjoy chatting with him. He has such tremendous insight as far as um, you know the industry goes and what makes it tick and what makes the distributors successful or not successful so um, Eddie Freeman are you there no I know I'm somewhere else <laughs> yes I am I am most certainly here how are you doing George I'm doing great I'm doing great so um <laughs> now that you're somewhere else, I would imagine it's like in Boston, right? Yeah, I am from uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I'm originally from upstate New York, moved to Boston, man, in 1959, been there ever since. So let's not wow. talk sports on this one because I don't want people to not like me. Yeah, okay, I, a, I got I'm you. I'm a Boston fan, what can I tell you? But I appreciate I all good sports, you know. <laughs> So let me let me ask you this. Um you you've been in network marketing um a long time. Tell me a little bit about your history. How long have you been in and and uh have you tasted success? Huh. Well, hey, thanks, I know the George. answer to I, that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got started in network marketing June of 1990, so I guess I'm coming on 30 years. And basically, in real life, I was a jeweler, and I owned, operated uh, one of the top grossing jewelry stores in New England. And I was making a substantial six-figure year income, but I mean, I had, I kid you not, I had no time at all. I mean, uh, I would, uh, you know, wake up, especially from September to New Year's, I would wake up first thing in the morning, my kids were in bed, work all day, come home. My kids were in bed, and I noticed everybody else that were jewelers and owned jewelry stores, it was the same thing. I was introduced to network marketing. It was, I'll never forget, it was May of 1990. A friend of mine who at one time had a jewelry store, and I actually put him out of business, he comes into my store. Oh, Eddie, I'm, 
I'm all excited. I just started this new business, and I'm going to be making more money here than I ever made as a jeweler. And, you know, you could too with your personality. And I said, no, I'm happy for you. <clears throat> and he says, Nida, you need to look at this. So now remember, this is 1990. He says, I've got a cassette. I want you to listen to this on the ride home. I have a VHS video. And then <clears throat> I want you to come to an opportunity meeting with me. So I listened to the cassette on the ride home, and I found it interesting. I put in this, um, uh, this video on my VHS. I made some microwave popcorn. And I watched these two good old boys from Houston, Texas, sitting around a swimming pool, driving up in a vet. What intrigued me was when I watched them, when you get five, when they get five, is 25. And they get five, is 125. And they get five, is 625. And they get five, is 3,125. And they get five, is 50. And I looked at that, and I said, well, man, I can get five, <laughs> you know. And so I started with a great company in Provo, Utah. It was a skincare company in, in 1990. And uh, what was funny uh, is everybody I spoke to had heard about it already. Oh, I'm not interested. My, I'm already in it. My cousin's in it. And, of course, I didn't realize. They told me it was this ground floor opportunity in the video. Nobody told me that the video was five years old. But, you know, mm. I, I did the business. I hit qualifying diamond. And I will tell you, it wasn't – I could have made more money flipping burgers at McDonald's. But you know what? I had mentors. I learned – from some of the greatest people in the history of network marketing, guys that were MLM legends to this day that made 50 million, 80 million, whatever. And I didn't look at it as a negative. <clears throat> then from there, uh, it was 19, I think it was 92. I went to uh, my second company, which was in Boca Raton. And, you know, we, we had a weight loss product and it was a high fiber product. And I started out doing very well in that company. Uh, after hitting qualifying diamond in my seventh month in my first company, in my second month, oh, man, I mean, I, you know, I got to five figures a month after three months. And things were going well, but I found something in that company that I've seen happen a lot. And what that company did is the top three distributors kept getting together with the owners, and they kept changing the comp plan which created breakage for the company, so the company liked it. The top three guys, their checks went up, and everybody else's went down the tubes. And I said, you know what? I don't really like that. But I worked that company up until, oh, man, I think it was 19, yeah, it was 1996. <clears throat> I took a break for a couple of years, and uh, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And uh, in 2002, 2002, in uh, February, I got started on my third company. It was, a, it was a network marketing company that was a division of a publicly traded company. And I worked it. Uh, for, I, well, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say what I made, but let's say in my uh, four-year stint, stint there, I was a substantial. Um, I earned seven figures in the company. And people might say, well, Eddie, why would you, why would you leave a company that you've made you know, $3 million in four and a half years? And I said, well, here's, here's why. You know, it was, and I don't know what I can say here, so if you're going to have to bleed me, you will. It was a two-legged <laughs> compensation plan, okay? And I've always felt that a two-legged compensation plan, in my opinion, is totally unfair for the part-time person. And the reason I say that, imagine if my 18-year-old next-door neighbor who's a freshman at college showed me a network marketing company and I said, yes, I'll do it. And he goes home all excited. I just sponsored Eddie Freeman. He's made so much money and this and that. This young man is going to be all excited until he starts to realize he'll never make any money on me. I'm going to be his power leg. Well, in the particular company I was in, I enrolled somebody, enrolled somebody, enrolled somebody. 38 levels down, I enrolled a guy that at one time was one of the seven original owners of New Skin. And he went over into Japan, and literally, I mean, we started doing multiple millions of dollars a month. And in that particular company, it was a binary that paid on both legs. So what the company did was they took those 37 spots between me and that guy and all the people that had left. They just kept filling them in with their cousins and people or whatever, and it develops what's called binary creep. In a binary, if you give somebody a position, you give them a leg. You give them a volume. You know what? Every time you help one person, you're hurting everybody else because you can only pay so much. And when you're getting paid on the same volume, it kills it. 
And so they have to change the comp plan. You'll love this one. My check went from $83,000 a month to thirty-seven. dollars So you might say, man, you should be able to squeak by on thirty-seven. dollars Well, yeah, I could. The problem was all my leaders, their checks went from forty dollars to eight, or dollars or, or, or $10,000 to $2,000. And you know what? They were all leaving. And I decided I would leave. I sold my company. I sold my business back to the company for one month uh, of checks, just to let you know. And I took time off. I was never going to do network marketing again. George, I started writing a book, okay, because as a leader in network marketing, a lot of funny things happen, right? <clears throat> I was going to name the book A Funny Thing Happened on My Way to Success. I start writing it, and I got a phone call from a friend of mine that had left Newskin, and he's from Utah, and he said, Eddie, listen, you were right uh, about, uh, you know, that the company Newskin and why I should have left, so I'll tell you what, I'm starting something else. You need to look at it. And I said to him, Steve, I'm not interested in being a distributor in network marketing anymore. He said to me, yeah, but Eddie, it's a juice deal. Now, this is 2008, right? There's Monavi at the time. There's Zango at the time. There's Free Life at the time. Just what I want to do is a juice deal. And, and he said to me, but Eddie, we want to fly you in. And I said, Steve, you know, because my friend Steve's from Utah. I just figured the company's in Utah, right? I said, Steve, just what I want to do in the month of January of 2008 is fly from Boston to Utah. He said, Eddie, the company's located in West Palm Beach, Florida. So, George, hmm. I, I looked out on my porch. The thermometer said eight. It was two feet of snow. I packed up my Tommy Bahamas, and I was ready to go and let them know why I was never going to do their company. But I saw something in health and wellness in that company. And I got started. As a matter of fact, a mutual friend of ours uh, was one of the part owners of that company. And right, I worked right. it. I worked it for years. Uh, in that company, I hit the top of the comp plan. It took me 420 days to hit Diamond, which was the top thing. I brought Japan into the business, uh, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Malaysia, Australia. And uh, <clears throat> let me put you this way. I don't want to tell you exactly how much money I made. But my, my seventh year, my nickname was the $6 million man, okay, just to give you an idea. But you know what happens in so many of these companies is either a call plan changes or they start with this incredible product. And everybody gets on the product and has unbelievable success. And then once the company starts rolling, they go to the formulators, hey, how can we make the product a little bit cheaper so we can make a little more money? And you know what, George? I had pretty much seen that in any company I had been with. And after a while, I mean, nobody's getting results on the product. They changed the comp plan in midstream. And the bottom line was I, I left that company as well. In, and, and I left them in uh, 2018. I said, you know what? There's some things that I have a problem with in network marketing. I have a problem with the shipping costs. And my biggest problem, and I hate binaries, but I really hate auto ship. And it's not that I hate the auto ship job, George. Don't get me wrong. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. According to the DSA, the average person in a network marketing company is only on auto ship for three months. And I looked at that and I said, how can this be? The products are so good. We're having people with unbelievable testimonials, yet after three months they quit. And the answer, if you really look at it, it's just, it's so simple. They're priced out of the game. See, in almost every network marketing company I've ever looked at, you need to be active 100 points of volume, but it never costs $100, see? It's the BV to PV spread. It usually costs about $160 by the time you're done with the shipping and the taxes. So think about that, George. After three months, a person has now spent $480. If they haven't made much money in their first three months, they're saying, man, I'm going to be spending like $2,000 a year on this. I can't afford it. And they quit. And I went to all the companies I had ever participated in and said, you know what? Have a $50 a month auto ship because if you do that, guess what? You're not going to have any attrition. No one's going to leave. And they told me how stupid I was because my check would go down if that was the case. And uh, so eventually I left the company. I hooked up with a guy that told me streaming was the wave of the future. 
he could do a streaming company where everything would be just like Hulu and Netflix. I said, $50 a month, it's good, it's a great story, but the problem was the service never worked. I don't know anything about technology. I know less about running a company. And uh, I ended up leaving that company, George. But uh, to a long answer to a short question, I've had what most people would consider a lot of success in the industry of network marketing. But the thing I'm most proud of, George, is over the years, <clears throat> I, I believe in the cycle of duplication. And I've got a simple, something that's so simple and easy, I've helped thousands and thousands of people earn residual income of a couple hundred dollars a week, a couple thousand a week, and I've been fortunate enough to help people make even more than that. So, I mean, I love, love the industry. So, before we take a break, because I'm really, really excited about where you're going with this. And one of the things, your philosophy runs parallel to my philosophy. We both have a heart for the people that are in our business, the, 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 the distributors out there that are willing to do the work, willing to, to realize that this is not a lottery ticket that they just bought. But, um, and, and what you've done is you've made some major changes that have affected your income, um, and it's as a result of it not being fair to other people. So we're going to take a short break, and we're going to get into the next phase of Eddie Freeman. So, Peter, take it away. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening to Building Fortunes Radio. If you sell a product or service, then you should check out PMMarketingsNetworkLeads.com. Just visit www.NetworkLeads.com. For over 18 years, PM Marketing has helped distributors build their home-based businesses through lead generation, website development, automated email delivery systems, and sales training. If you're looking for a way to increase your skills and increase the number of people that see your product or opportunity, NetworkLeads.com can help. To learn more, visit www.NetworkLeads.com. Ask about their lead management system, capture pages, personalized websites, MLM training, humongous blogs, the humongous classified ad network, Building Fortunes Radio, or their webinar schedule. NetworkLeads.com can be your one-stop shop for everything you need. And now, back to our show. And we are back. Peter Mingles here with Eddie Freeman. And, uh, George, I love you bringing Eddie on because for those people looking for someone to be able to work with or some answers to some questions, as Eddie gives us his contact information, if you're looking for a home-based business, here's what I probably can tell you in advance about Eddie. He's lived it, so you can ask him a question, and Eddie is not afraid to tell you the answer. So you might not want to hear the answer that Eddie's going to tell you. <laughs> but Eddie is, Eddie is not afraid to tell you the answer because he's probably seen almost everything. So Eddie, thank, and he's, he's also going to be able to identify his strengths and his weaknesses. So if you're looking for technology, Eddie's going to tell you, hey, man, I may not be necessarily the most technical guy here, but if you want to know about how to build a business in this industry, I can certainly show you how. So, uh, George, I just love that you're bringing on Eddie Freeman onto this. And by the way, if you, for those people listening in, grab a pen. He's going to give you his contact information in a little bit. But we're also going to have a page on Building Fortunes Radio. If you go to buildingfortunesradio.com and then look under the guest section, you'll be able to see a guest page for Eddie Freeman. That's F-R-E-E-M-A-N. So, Eddie and George, back to you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the one thing about Eddie is he's real, and he's done it, and he, he is one of those one-percenter leaders that we talk about that dig deep into their organization and teach the uh, the truths that need to be learned. So, Eddie, my next question is: the so you you've just you've just gone through almost thirty years of experience, all right, in that first fifteen minutes. And one of the things that I I love about you is you're a common sense kind of person, and. It, it, not many people take a common sense approach to this business. So there is certain things in a business that becomes advantageous, that if you can put together the parts and pieces of these certain things, you stand a chance if you're willing to work it. This is not, this is not a game, but this is, this is work. 
But if you're willing to do it, there are certain things that you should look out for. So what are those certain things? Well, that's a great question, George. So if I was looking for a perfect situation for me, for example, the first thing I look at are products. And I got to tell you, I'm a health and wellness guy. I'm going to be 69 years old in uh, May. Uh, you'll, you'll look at pictures of me and you won't guess me within 15 years of my age. I, I should be in health and wellness. I believe in health and wellness. But again, like you said, common sense. If you look at all of the billion-dollar companies that have ever been in network marketing, or not even the billion-dollar ones, what about the $400 million ones? What you're going to find is probably 95% of them have been health and wellness. But there's a reason for that. The reason is, and there's great companies in energy and phones and TV. If you save me $10 a month on my energy bill, I'm going to use it on something else. And if somebody comes to me with a lower price on energy, it's going to do it. Just like XL Communications all those years ago. Man, what a trip. They're a billion-dollar-a-year company. They had long distance for 15 cents a minute when everybody else had it for 30. Where is XL Communications today? They're gone. Who uses long distance anymore? Everybody's got a cell phone, right? Technology. But let's take a health and wellness. You take a person that's been on high blood pressure medication their entire life, and then you get them a product that they can buy for $50 a month, and now their blood pressure is back to normal, guess what? They're going to continue using that product forever. They get emotionally attached to products. So number one, I look for products in health and wellness that people can get emotional about. <clears throat> the second thing is the pricing. And I talked about that a little bit. I don't like these products that you've got to, you know, take a second mortgage. I like products in the $50. But to me, that's the sweet spot. It's $50 a month for a product. That's about the sweet spot that people will buy a product over and over and over and over. Let's face it, none of us ever would have left any network marketing company if everybody that we ever enrolled that was in our downline didn't leave, and they always left for the same kind of reasons, okay? So I want that kind of a product. I want that kind of pricing. I would also want something that if I want an auto ship for $50, I don't want people, I don't like, I want a company that doesn't do this BV to PV stuff that, oh, yeah, it's only 100 You know what else I always hated? These companies that say, well, we pay 55%. Well, they, you know, in, in some ways it's true, but in other ways it's really not, and I'll tell you why. When people say they pay 55% back to the distributors, usually if they pay 55% of the BV. So if your BV is 60%, if, if $100, you know, get your 60 BV and you're making 55% of that, that's 33%. I want a company that was paying over 40, and if I gave it up closer to 45%, I think most network marketing companies could stay in business paying out. 45%. I'd love a company if it was conceivable to have free shipping. Now, I know I was in a product that has liquid nutritional supplements, glass bottles, you know, the shipping is so expensive, a $50 product, even if you had it for $50, becomes $75. So if you could find something that they could make a product light enough and the company would eat the shipping, uh, I would like something like that. I also love, you know, sampling to me is – you get people to try a product, and they may not run faster and jump higher the first time, but if they can feel a little something or it tastes delicious, see, to me, that's the product I would want. If I was looking at a compensation structure, and most of the time uh, I've been, I've been in, in binary hybrids or I was in these stair-step breakaways, uh, if I could find a unilevel that I didn't have to build 10 or 12 legs, if I could find a unilevel, that you could have just two active legs and max out the plan with a $50 auto ship, you know what? I'd look at something like that. But another thing I've learned to look at is, and it's not just timing, because, you know, timing is pretty integral. You don't want to, there's some great companies out there right now. Is, is there a better company out there than Amway? Is there a better company out there than New Skin or Herbalife? No. But is there better opportunity to make money? In my opinion, yes, because I believe it's growth that uh, magnifies your effort. And when you function in an environment where there's very little growth, it's very difficult to max out your check. I like a company that's early on in the game, but if you are going to pick one early on, 
two things are of utmost importance. And the first is the company's got to have money because if you realize what a high percentage of network marketing companies go out of business within the first few years, it always seems to be for the same two reasons, George. Either they run out of money or they're mismanaged. So I would like uh, a company that had some money, that owned some stuff, that wasn't spending $25,000 a month for a big corporate office to do a dog and pony show, and then have nine people in the office walking around getting paid to do pretty much nothing, okay? I'd want a company that knew how to keep their expenses down, that were well-financed. But the most important thing of all to me, who's the ownership of the company? What are they really like? You know, I like, quite frankly, I'm not in... I'm not interested in corporate people. I would love it if there was somebody that would combine a little corporate knowledge, but they were actually distributors in the field, and I'll tell you why. Because the distributor knows what it's like to be in people's living rooms, to be in the, in the coffee shops, to be doing the meetings. So <clears throat> the distributor understands the plight of the distributor and what we need. So for me, if I could find you know, some people that were owners of a company that, you know, that understood that, that were genuine good guys that would never screw people because they've been screwed, that would never change the product formulation to make it weaker. Instead, they would want to make it better whenever they could. To me, that would be the perfect company. And that's the only one, in my opinion, that is based on common sense. Wow. That's a mouthful. So um, is there such a company? Where does the person well, go to work? Fine. I, I can tell you this. I've been searching for years, and I will say that over the last six months in particular, I've looked at a lot of things. And, George, here's something that not everybody knows, but I'm just going to say it. And, again, if you're going to bleat me out later, you'll probably never have me on again. But the truth of the matter is a guy like me that has made seven figures in two companies in a row, when people come at me, George, they say, here, I'm, I'm, going to give, I'm going to give you a signing bonus. I'm going to give you X amount to do this. You know what? If I ever took that money and I thought that other people couldn't make money in it, oh, man, shame on me for doing that. I would never sell out. So after looking and turning down offer after offer, it just so happens that I did get a phone call on Valentine's Day from a very close friend of mine that I had mentored, that I had worked with, um, one of the nicest people in the world, and as we spoke, and then I sampled his products, I made a career move. And it was huh, literally less than two weeks ago, I did get started with a company that, in my opinion, is the only one that makes common sense. And uh, I believe that there is that company. I'm convinced of it more than ever uh, in the short time I've been here. I've... Uh, I feel like I got my life back. I feel for the first time in my MLM career, everything that I ever looked for, $50 auto ship, free shipping, no binary, able to place people, able to enroll your people in your people's downline, and you all capitalize on it. Ownerships with a heart, ownerships that have the absolute highest quality products that are addressing literally the needs of today. I mean, if you look in the news every day, wouldn't you love to have a product that according to the Mayo Clinic, WebMD, PubMed.gov, that actually is boosting your immune system. Not making a claim, but, you know, with, with flus and viruses going around today, I would think boosting your immune system wouldn't be a bad thing. And if they were free shipping and all the things that go with it. Yeah, I, I did find something, George, and it wasn't long, long ago, and I'm the most excited I think I've ever been in my 30-year career in this industry. So this is this is what I'm going to do. Um, what you've said is is so valuable that if if someone wants to get a hold of you directly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to suggest that they end up sending an email to info at the network marketing magazine dot com. Info at the network marketing magazine dot com. And in the subject line, all you have to do is say, I heard Eddie on the radio show. Please pass him my information. And would it be okay to get that information and you call them? 
George, it's 100%. You can give out my cell phone number. Keep in mind, you know, I'm not an email guy. Uh, um, I like to talk to people face-to-face. I've always felt, it's so funny, George, and I know we're coming to the end here, but over the years, people come up, well, we're going to do this on the Internet, and we're going to do this, blah, 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 blah. In my opinion, you can build it that way. The network marketing was and always will be a, a people-to-people business. It's built on relationships. Do you know, I am friends with people in this industry for 15, 20, 30 years. They may not join me at every company, but when I call, they listen. And so because of that, I'm still into building relationships. Anybody that calls me or I, they want me to call them, they will get a call from me. If you call me and I can't take your call, if you text me, I promise you, you'll be my next call. I've always felt that what I do with anybody is I just give them the facts, you know, sound business principles, logic, common sense, and then I find out what their goals are. I never force my goals on them, and I don't care if their goals are $50 a month, 500 a month, 5000 or much more than that. I just do my best to help them reach their goals, and I would do that with, with anybody. And you know what? So would the owners of this company because they're both former distributors. Yeah, yeah. Well, Eddie, I am so thrilled to have had you on today. I'm going to have, have you back again. Um, and um, we're going to we're going to hear the rest of rest of the story and how how your new venture ends up shaking out. And uh, I I appreciate you being on today. Thank you very well, much. Well, I, I I appreciate being here. It's funny is that we just spoke a couple hours before the show, and you said, "Hey, Eddie." I'm like, "Sure." What the heck? If it's one thing about me that you'll find. I'm not always right, but I definitely have an opinion, George. <laughs> so well, thank you, you so, so much for having me here. I really had fun. My pleasure. My pleasure. Back to you, Peter. Excellent. We'll be back next week, buildingfortunesradio.com forward slash TNMM. You'll be able to see this again. Eddie's going to have a special guest page. You'll be able to find his contact information there as well. You'll be able to go to buildingfortunesradio.com. Look for the guest. Check out Eddie Freeman. That's Eddie Freeman. Great conversation. He thanks. We, we hope we're going to have you back real soon, and we're going to catch everybody next week on Building Fortunes Radio. Good day, everyone. You've been listening to Building Fortunes Radio on buildingfortunesradio.com. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check us out every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the designated Building Fortunes Radio segment with Peter Mingle. Be sure to check out the buildingfortunesradio.com website for our featured segments. It's been our privilege to have you listen in. At Building Fortunes Radio, we wish you the success you deserve and are willing to work for. So spread the word, tell a friend, join our newsletter, and go make a difference in your world.